Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome, welcome back. Now I'm here today with um, Scrap Busters. That's the challenge set by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper and scrapbookingwithme.com where she uses up all her scraps and she sets a little challenge every week that anyone is welcome to take part in. If you do want to take part, just use the hashtag MS Scrap Busters, which stands for M's Melina's Scrap Busters. Yeah, pop it up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you pop it, just use that hashtag, then Melina can find it and have a look what you've been up to. Right, the eagle eyed amongst you will know that this is the second time this video has come up. The first time YouTube had disabled comments. For some reason, the sound cut out about 10 minutes in. So I've just got rid of it and filmed it again. So <laughs> that does have the added benefit of me already having three to show you. So we've got three in different sizes. So these are cute little V-shaped pockets with side tucks. Yeah, how sweet are they? Yeah, and I've decorated them with some previous scrap busting challenges. I think that was the first week where we decorated the little circles with scraps. Yeah, they're lovely. You can attach them to your journal. You can glue the back down. You could glue it on three sides, leaving another tuck. Or you can just pop it in a pocket or attach it with a paper clip. Anyway, let's show you how they make how they are made. Oh, I don't even know what to talk about now in this video. So I can't remember what I've said in the last one. Oh, yeah. Right, so I've got my posh scraps today. I call these my posh scraps. They're my bits for the Tim Holtz pads. Some, I don't know if that's Prima, I can't remember. Whatever pad it were, it was called Everyday Hero. I did a journal with it. And yeah, I think I'm going to make one with this one this time. Yeah, I am. I'm just going to grab my big chompy chopper because I want to cut that down a little bit. Yeah, and I'll show you how we then fold them. I think I could get two out of this. I really do. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for two. Shorter stubby of pockets. So handy. I don't really mind having to make some more. But, yeah. So it's a bit of a late night crafting session now. I wasn't tired anyway. I had the most, yeah, embarrassingly long lying this morning. I got up at noon. How bad is that? Well, whatever. I'm working late to make up for it. Right, so we've got this long strip. You don't have to measure it. Don't matter what size it is. Whatever size your strip starts off, it'll just make a different size pocket. Now, I'm wondering if I could turn that upside down and have roses at the bottom. No, all my writing will be upside down, it'll look a bit odd. So just crack on as you were doing. Yeah, crack on as you were. Might end up being a bit wide as well there. So do you know what? I'm going to do that. And I'm going to lop a little bit off the side. Because that will also then give me a tag, won't it? Of course it will. I'm not measuring. I'm just... Yeah, there you go. I've got a tag. And a pocket. And then I'm going to fold this one over there. Yeah, I'll grab my bone folder. I can find it. I didn't even tidy up <laughs> from filming it first time round. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. Probably because I've already done video. Oh well. So just crease that. Crease that. And that one's going to end up being, oh, it's a shame I didn't get the butterfly on the front, isn't it? I'm going to do some more chopping. <laughs> I can if I want. I right, want that butterfly on the front. So I'm going to cut that off as well. <sighs> the advantage with having made some now is I know what I can and can't do. So that's, it's going to end up like that now. So we're going to make that V-shape in front. And I don't know why I put my chopper away because I want it. So I'm going to start off by... I think I'm going to cut this one down first because I know exactly how I want it. You can do this with your scissors if you want, just cut. Me cutting a straight line, never going to happen. So I'm not even going to embarrass myself trying. Right, you want to place it. Let me just ink this. I see now why Melina inked the edge before cutting. Although I've picked a rather dark and grungy paper. So it may not work. 
oh yeah you can see the crease now a little bit better so I want to cut from just past the crease we'll show you the others can you see how we've got that little bit at the top yeah and I want to cut down to there so turn it over have a look so now I'm going to cut from there and I want it to end around about in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect we're not going for perfection so that's about there so that's like top of that little minty swirl minty swirl look at that come from a minty swirl mm, that sounds like a really good sweet that doesn't it a minty swirl oh passes one of them minty swirls I can't find my pencil mark this really dark grungy paper perhaps weren't best idea ink world there it is so I'm going to make sure my mark comes along my blade yeah then I'm going to move it oops I need to come down a bit move it so I'm just left with that little bit past the crease again where is the crease there's the crease I lost my crease just cut it and stop waffling there you go right let's see whether this worked one two love it really love where that butterfly ended up <laughs> that was judgment that that won't look promise now, i'm wanting i thought of this when i'm making others so i'm at a bit of an advantage here i've made them twice now i want to put oh look at that i'm going to put an extra little tuck on there do you know what why because i can so Let's do a bit of inking. I could get three little tags in here now instead of two. You can't even. I've got the walnut stain like stale walnut stale walnut stain ink, and it's still not showing up an awful lot on this dark paper. But oh, you can tell it's there. Look, you can. So do you know what? I'm going to glue that on as well. I can just see the flutter by. You know, it's that way I want to put it, silly woman. I, do you know I quite like that? Just do it, woman, before you change your mind. I'm using my art glitter. If I'd have glued it the other way, you see my Roman numerals would have been upside down. It would have been rather annoying. A bit of a glue glob on that. Yeah, I might be getting a bit more free and easy, but upside down Roman numerals, that's a step too far. Really is. Right. And I'd like to say hello to all uh, my new subscribers that have bobbed over from Melina's channel. Yeah, thank you. I hope you like what you're seeing and hearing. Uh, if you are watching a few of my recent videos, I did have some microphone issues, which I hope have been solved now, so... Yeah, you might have to turn me up. Oh, I like that, I really do. A little bit of an extra on it there, aren't we? Right, so I'm now going to glue along the bottom of this flap that's going down first. Yeah, I'll pick it up. I don't want to get glue on my wallpaper. Not unless I really, really have to. Then I'm going to glue along this one. And I'm also going to put a little bit of glue there just to seal it at the top so that's that I'm really liking that extra little pocket yeah I didn't think of that first time I surely didn't I think it was this paper that made me think of it actually so there we have the pocket now we want some tags I'm going to use that as a tag because it just matches so well doesn't it Oh, look at that. Oh, wacky thump. Do you know, sometimes I think a tag might just be for looking at. Eh? What do you reckon? Because that is so nice. I don't want to put anything on the back of it. Yeah. I'm not putting anything there. Yeah, I'm just not. Right, I've got my little corner chompers somewhere. You can use your little plastic card out like this. I've got one. Yeah, well, that's just a tiny one, but you can cut as much up as you want. Then if you line that up and cut, most of you will know that method. But because I've got this, I'm going to use it. Relic from my scrapbook and mini album days, this one. And I'm going to ink those edges. I don't know if I want to put tabs on this or 
punch some holes. I can't decide. Let's have a look what a tab looks like. Uh, oh, I really do need to cut some more tabs. What have I got in here? I've got the... Uh, mm, no, don't like. Maybe the little one. The little one may look good. These are the ones cut with the uh, Elizabeth Craft dies. Oh, I've got one in black. Black would look so good on there. But do I have another one for the side tab? Mm. Tell you what, I'm not even going to put one on the side tab then. But I really want to use that black one. Oh yeah, that's going to look so good on there. It matches. I don't often use a lot of black card. But I think on here, it warrants it, doesn't it? So, a little bit of glue. Still with my art glitter. If I weren't on camera, I probably would just use my normal um, tacky glue. Oh, <laughs> well, went a bit wonky. Wonky donkey. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't remember who it was now. Someone sent me a link to uh, the story of the wonky donkey book. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Right, let's have something in the side are we going to get anything off these or am i going to need to get a totally different piece of card oh look at that the back of that is black and then you could just write on that couldn't you i'm going to cut some of that off and use it I'm getting all grungy right i'm going to guess how big that needs to be if i guess wrong i can cut it down so i'll make it rather larger rather than smaller do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the little notch in there. What a womble. Could I just unglue that? Do you know what? I could. Yeah, I could. You know, because there's only a little dot holding that. I've unglued it and I'm going to slide my punch in. Am I? I don't think I am. That's what you think, missus. Maybe if I use a different punch, I could get it in. Some of the... um. Yeah, punches are a bit lower profile than others, aren't they? You stay there, just telling things not to fall off. But I think I might have blurred this. Can I get that one in? I can, but... Oh yeah, I'm just going to... I'm really, I'm just winging this, but I can just do it. Haha, <laughs> we did it. a slightly smaller circle than on the others but I don't mind I like it I'm happy I tried that because it did work I could have always unglued the bottom had it not and I'm going to put my glue back in the same place shows you how strong that glue sticks doesn't it rip the paper above rather than come undone that's some strong glue for you it'll be fine once it's glued back down I may pop a clip on that just while it sets will that one reach i think that'll reach yeah there we go right we now know that was way too wide so let's cut it down a bit more let's have another guesstimation i'm liking this guessing business rather than spending my whole life measuring that'll fit there still too wide for there so i'm going to cut it in half now then I can have a little tuck in there. Mm, it's going to be too high, that, isn't it? It needs to be far smaller. This piece of card is going to be like an inch square bit time I've done, isn't it? I think I'm just even going to... I'm going to use a ticket. I'll bob a ticket in there. Oh, yeah. That's spot on. We like. Well, I do. I don't know about you. I'm just going to chomp the top stick some ink on and I think this one I'll pop a little eyelet through oh I don't even need an eyelet it's such a tiny tag I can just pop a hole in I think I think the eyelet will finish it off yeah it's not like changing your mind is there um what colour what colour I don't think silver will go not even sure gold or gold will go. Gold goes with everything, doesn't it? 
can always use gold. So if I'm too near camera, I've got it pulled right low down. So that's that. I'm using my chomper dial, as I now call it. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. Take that off now. Yep, yeah, that's well stuck. You'd never know we had a problem, would you? I like that little eyelet sticking out of that little hole. Right, I'm going to grab something to pop in now. Something that's pre-made. Let's look in my little tiny ephemera box that I did leave out just in case. There's going to be something in here. Ooh, what's that? Nope, wrong colour. Ticket, nope, wrong colour. Nope, nope. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that suitcase. That's I just <laughs> it, it were a little die set I bought that. Oh, a little watch. It was meant to go with Alice in Wonderland, but do you know what? I like it. Or is it the right colour? Oh, I don't know. Butterflies. I'm really struggling to find something the right tone for this. Maybe that tiny pocket wasn't such a hot idea after all. Because now I haven't got a clue what to put in it. I'm just going to put suitcase in, I think. A typewriter. Cute. <laughs> Again, that was a die. Could we put a typewriter in it? I suppose we could, really, couldn't we? There's no rules. I'm making rules up. Or do I just need to... Ooh. Hmm... I want to cut that clock out now and pop that in. Tell you what, I'm going to make a tiny little tag with a butterfly clock. Just do it, woman. Stop faffing, stop umming, stop ahhing. Crack on with it and I've done with it. So I'm going to cut that there. I'm going to cut it again there. I'm just thinking how many more little tags I could make out of this. So we've got one there with a butterfly. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be separated, do they? They just don't. So do you think it might end up being this butterfly? I think it might. Let's have a look, see. Pop it in that way. I, really, I, don't, I can't believe this is causing me so much trouble. I'm going to put a bit of string on that while I ponder it. There we go. It's just the jute twine that I tend to use in all sorts. I just want to put that clock in, I really do. I'm going to fussy cut that clock because I can. Look at all that rubbish on my scissors. I've been packing parcels and it's all brown tape. What an awful mess. Using my best fussy cutting scissors for packing parcels. I need a rocket. I'm just going to go just outside the line. Because I'll ink it up then and you won't see that there's a different colour card around it. Fussy cutting circles is not my favourite thing to do, so why on earth I've just decided to do it is anyone's guess. I just want to make my life difficult sometimes, I think I do really. Yay, then I look at it other side, that looks okay. Chuck some ink on it. Blind man would be glad to see it, as my mum used to say. <laughs> Now ink's on, you can see if there's any really dodgy bits that need straightening up. And that's really dodgy. Dodgy as they come, that's better. I'm happier now. That's where it needed. Sorted. So we've got that, we've got that, that's lovely. And that. Right, I'm going to do one more, then we'll have a nice odd set of five. Odd numbers. I just tend to like odd numbers. I just do. I'm not using that dark grungy stuff again though. I'm going to bring some more Timothy stuff in. Tidy up slightly, not too much or I won't feel at home. Which, oh, that's nice. 
that is nice i used that i did i used that to make a tag for one of others but i'm going to use that now for the pocket now this is going to be a taller skinnier one as you can see already there we go anyone see what i did with my bone folder there it is i'm going to fold that one over that way i've not taken any notice to be quite honest which side my pockets end at but it really don't matter does it bring the little baby chopper in so i'm gonna cut i'll cut that one first i still haven't made my mind up if it makes any difference which one you cut first so just a little bit past there i think i might want quite a deep v on this one let's go to a deep one there we go yeah and i want it to end i want the v to be roughly in the middle so i'll put myself a little mark again so i want to make sure i go through that mark on the edge of the blade and that looks about it yeah i like it i could have the tag at either side i think i'm gonna have it at that side <coughs> Let's get inking again. One advantage now, when I finish this video, I'll upload it and it'll upload really quick because everyone else is asleep. I was so gutted with that other one. Oh, I've just started looking at it. Once they're uploaded, I always check the beginning of the video, yeah? And going fine going fine then i've got no sound i'm like oh no then i noticed youtuber disable comments i really did think i got to the bottom of that i've contacted support i've put in uh feedback requests i've spoke to them on live chat thought it was solved and it's happened again it's really rather annoying and it always tends to happen on a weekend Really? Do you want to open it? No, no thanks, Gert. Mm, didn't know I had that enabled. Couldn't tell you what it is. She does like to get her two pennies in, that woman. But I love her really. Yes, I've passed my love of ancient Amazon devices on to my daughter. I've got the girls <laughs> on Prime Day. That's how long ago it is and how long they've had it. I got them a new um, little dot for their bedroom because they've got the old original ones like I've got in my craft room. Rachel didn't want it. No, she likes her old one. She likes that she doesn't listen sometimes. She likes that she comes out with absolutely random stuff. Don't forget to put your little notch in this time while you're rabbiting away. Just because you've met them before, don't get cocky. <laughs> there we go. That's so much better. So much easier than where I did the first one. So yeah, she didn't want it. So yeah. Sex after a mother with that. Loyal to a piece of electronic equipment. I think some might say we need psychiatric help. I've not quite folded that straight when I did it. So I've got a little bit of a notch there. So do you know what? I'm just going to straighten it off and I'm not going to worry about it. The world definitely didn't end. Right, so we've got that. I now want to get some cards. I have got... Hello, Phoebe. What are you doing here? I know you want me to go to bed. It's bedtime, but I'm still busy. If I show you the original ones I did... Oh, where's it gone, my little one? Here we go. I just used some very neutral cards to make the tags. Yeah. I thought that... Oops. <laughs> had enough on it. You can't see the tags until you pull them out. So I'm going to do the same with this one. Yeah. So, it's glued at the bottom. So think of that when you're doing length of your tag. So it's not going to go all the way down to the bottom. Perhaps about there. And I want it slightly shorter than my pocket because the tab can stick up. So I'm going to cut that one there. Couldn't tell you what it measures for the life of me. I'll tell you what, what this measures when I've finished. So that's that. 
We now want to cut the width down. So again, I'm just going to guesstimate it. I'm going to cut that bit off because can you see it's because they are scraps these it has got knocked a bit about there so that should give me the tag the right size I'll get my corner chomper chuck some ink on it I really like how quick and easy these are making with all sorts no measuring i'm really getting into this no measuring lark really am so that's going to bob in there perfect and that one still a bit wide for there so i'm going to cut the widths down and then i'll cut the lengths down and that one should fit perfectly in there Ooh, i moved that it's wonky as a donkey again Perfect, and I want it about there. Then there's room for the tag, tab, because I want to put tabs on this one. So we've got. I'm going to cut the corners off again, liking that look. Bit of ink. And this time I think I want to put tabs on. I think craft tabs will look good on that. Or, oh, actually I might use the others. These are some that I cut out with. I used some cardstock that I'd printed some My Porch prints. I think it's the white wood kit or floral wood, something like that. Made a bit of a change from boring brown cream or whatever. If you want the uh, Cricut file for these tabs, just drop me an email. I don't put it in the description. When I first did the um, link, I did have someone, yeah, wanting, they were just selling the file on. So I deleted that file, to be quite honest, and then I did another one, and I just, I've kept it private. I mean, I'm not being, I don't want to hog it. But I don't particularly want to sell it at the moment. I'm not saying I won't in the future. But I think it's very cheeky of someone to take the file and sell it. So, yeah. I'll email it you by all means. Use it. Cut it out 50,000 times if you want. Send it to your friends. Use it. Use it in things you're selling. Just please don't sell the file or tabs in bulk that's all I ask I think that's quite reasonable I really do Ooh, I like that quite a neutral tag but I think it just suits that pocket I may decorate them up at a later date when I decide what project they're going in because that one we're just having the alphabet on that would be suitable for all sorts of projects wouldn't it So, pop that one in there. You won't pop off, will you? Please don't pop off. Pop that one in there. Put you in a bit further. Oh, it doesn't stick out too far. I can live with that. I'm going to decorate that with one of my previous um, Scrap Busters makes. Here we go. Like these, that was, again, a little circle we made. I don't know whether that was an M Scrap Busters one. Some... Uh, snippets on lace do we want a butterfly i think i just want to keep this one new well not neutral but put something on like a ticket or yeah i don't think i want to make it all about the butterflies because i make everything about the butterflies me is that the right i think i may have another tub with these in I'm really good at filling these tubs, me, and then just losing them. Where is it? Is that you? That's not you. Where have you gone? Stop hiding. There you are. Found you. I told you I've not tidied up from filming this first time round yet. So, if you thought you'd seen my desk messy before, yeah. It's messy now, I tell you. 
Right, what have we got? Oh, I like that one with just the ticket. Let's see what's happening. Oh, I think it's got a dragonfly on. I think I could live with a teeny tiny dragonfly. Or do I want a round one? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't want to make it pink. Pink is not the way to go. Not on this. Oh, that looks good. I like that. That. I'm not going for a ticket. It covers up too much of that lovely. Yeah. Sorry. Alphabet. I don't know that. Yeah, well, you wouldn't, would you? Because you was not actually asked anything, were you, missus? Go to sleep. It really is past your bedtime. It's a new day tomorrow. Night, night, Gertrude. Right, so. Oh, I think I want it up there again. Yeah. I'm a happy bunny with that one. Really like that one. So now I have five. One, two. And they're all different sizes, but that just makes them unique, doesn't it? So we have five. Can you see them all? Yeah, and they range in size from just under three by four and a half, all the way up to four and a half by six. So I really hope you enjoyed those. Sorry if you saw the other one and you're wondering what on earth happened to it. But I'm here now with take two. And you've got more to look at. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow with another project. Thank you very much. Bye.